Welcome back. Now, NTT is Japan's leading global technology company. It operates as a mobile operator. Not just that, they provide infrastructure, network, and application consulting services. Now, it's a big company. Its revenues are in excess of $95 billion. They have more than 330 employees, and their annual R&D investments or spends are $3.6 billion. Now, every year, the company holds an annual R&D forum which showcases its innovation and cutting-edge technology for research and business. Now, this year, I got a chance chance to participate in their annual forum and I wanted to highlight the company's differentiated take on generative AI. So here's how it works. Instead of having one large LLM, LLM is large language model, a large monolithic model which will require immense training costs and power consumption, NTT's generative AI approach is to have several smaller LLMs making it more sustainable. They call it Suzumi. Now, the debate is open. Which one is better? Do you want to have one large monolithic model or do you want to have several, you know, several smaller ones? Uh, I caught up with the CEO and president of NTT Research uh, on the pros and cons. Listen in. We have released an uh, AI platform called Suzumi. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, well, Suzumi is a, a Japanese word. Uh, of uh, Japanese traditional musical instrument, like a like a drum, uh, it's it's like this. You you hit it, uh, and uh, the reason we chose this one is that you just hit it and you get the answer. That right, that mm -hmm. you hear the sound of the of the drum. Uh, so it's very instantaneous and so on. But anyway, um, our approach for this Tuzumi is that uh, uh, rather than making a large lang language model and it requires a lot of hardware. We are, uh, we are, our aim is that uh, relatively smaller uh, language model while uh, we are maintaining that the performance as much as possible. Personally, I, I think the best application can be the uh, enterprise AI. Okay. Uh, enterprise AI, I think, is already kind of becoming a big, um, big um, trend now. Uh, but uh, enterprise is something like this that uh, you know everybody uses chat GPT or Google Gemini's and everything and uh, which is great but uh, certainly each enterprise wants to have their own AI mm -hmm. to fit into each enterprise's specific process or their business model or whatever right so you want to have a sm uh, AI just a custom to okay. to that to the specific enterprise, right? Mm. So and then for that, you don't need to have a large large model. So the approach, simplistically put, is to have many small LLMs, mm -hmm. and every enterprise will have many such. Each LLM, a smaller one, solving a particular problem or an application or a requirement of right. the enterprise. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And how is this better compared to having one large LLM, uh, which a lot of other companies seem to be pursuing. Right. Um, so I think that uh, certainly th there's a lot of debates on that, which is a better approach. But uh, we believe that a smaller approach can be uh, can be a b better approach because it's easier to control. Okay. Easier to control. It's kind of similar to today's humans model as well, right? That, that there's no one who knows everybody, yeah. everything. Yeah. Typically, you have the experts, If it, especially in a company, you have experts of, say, 10 different people. And then uh, if, a, if you're a CEO, you, just, uh, you know who to ask. Who to if ask? you are facing some challenge, facing some questions, you, or CEOs typically, all you need to do is you need to know who to ask. So. So that uh, AI model, what we are trying to do is a smaller model, which is like experts uh, for, of the but human. But what's the disadvantage of this model? I think that the disadvantage might be is that, uh, um, you know, you have to manage so many different uh, things. So uh, there might be some, you know, some knowledge may fall between the between the cracks. Between yeah. the crack. Okay. How do you figure out and that type of thing? So, so yeah, there, there's definitely pros and cons. And then, so our approach is that we um, try not to uh, try to avoid the situation as much as possible that something falls okay. uh, 
fall into somewhere in the in uh, in between. Well, a very interesting conversation there with you, Rima. I'm sure you had a very good uh, conversation there, and you got to learn quite a bit from NTT Absolutely. as well. Well, you know, just having a look at the market, 